Aloha, Hoahele. Welcome to the Liquid Luau. On today's episode, we're going to go back in time to the 1970s to make the Leilani Volcano from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort at Walt Disney World. Today's recipe comes from this book, Cooking with Mickey Around Our World. Now, the book dates from 1987, but this drink goes back as far as 1975, where it was served at the Tambu Lounge at the Polynesian. Uh, it uses guava juice and pineapple juice, along with some coconut rum, for a really nice, refreshing tropical drink. And I'll tell you, this drink is a real party pleaser. I have served this many times, and no one ever doesn't like it, which is not always the case with some of the more funky, complex tiki drinks. So, you serve this at a party, it is going to be a huge hit, I guarantee it. To make it, you'll need these ingredients. Some coconut rum. Malibu is probably the best known of the brands, but there are several that make this. Guava nectar. Uh, this is from a company called Goya, and I find this in the Hispanic section of my local grocery store. Now, uh, if you find a different company, look on the ingredients list and check to see that guava is actually the first ingredient listed instead of water or high fructose corn syrup. Uh, sometimes people will make guava beverages that aren't all nectar. Uh, those are okay, but they're not going to be as good as the pure juice, which is what you're trying to get. Pineapple juice, and I'm using this little can of Dole because uh, it's so convenient. A lime. Now, a little trick that somebody taught me is, if you look at this lime, you can see that the texture of it is actually kind of smooth. It's not bumpy like some limes. Uh, supposedly, a lime with a smoother skin actually has more juice than a lime with a bumpy skin. So if you're at the store and trying to pick out what kind of lime to use, get the one with the smooth skin. A knife, sharp enough to cut through the lime. A juice squeezer. Uh, I have this one. It's sized for lemons and limes. Uh, if you have an old-fashioned orange juice press, uh, the kind where you put the orange on top and go back and forth and get the juice out, that works too. Uh, or you can smash it with your hands if you need to. But uh, these things are pretty slick, and if you're going to make a lot of cocktails, I highly recommend getting one of these. They're pretty inexpensive, and, and they're really easy to work with and clean up. And you're going to need something to do liquid measures with. Uh, this is a really cool one from a company called OXO. Uh, it actually has its markings on the inside, so as you fill things up from the top, you can see how much you're putting in. So you don't have to sit there and keep going back and forth as you're pouring to try to measure. Uh, it's super convenient. They have metal ones like this, and there's also plastic ones available. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They're not super expensive. Um, I like the metal ones because you can throw them in the dishwasher and clean them up. Oh yes, and you're going to need a shaker because you got to mix the thing up after you put all the ingredients in. Well, that's it. Uh, let's get to making it. We're going to start by cutting this lime for the fresh lime juice. Now, you can use cartoned orange juice, but when it comes to limes and lemons, fresh squeezed is really the only way to go for cocktails. The, the flavor is so much better than what you can buy in the store in the, in the, uh, in the packages and bottles. Uh, I'm gonna get my squeezer here, and I'll give you a little tip. Uh, put the rind face up, that way the juice can just flow into the uh, measuring cup as you're squeezing it out. And today we're looking for three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Now, kind of a rule of thumb is each half of a lime will usually get about a half of an ounce of juice out of it. So uh, I have to do it twice in order to get to the three quarter mark. And there we go, looking good. We're gonna pour that into the glass. And now we are going to get our guava juice. So I'm gonna pop the top there and pour that in. We are looking for three ounces of guava juice. And I love this nice sort of orangey pink color. Next up, we need one and a half ounces of pineapple juice. Uh, these cans are great, really convenient. Look at that, it's just so easy to pour it right in there. And now we're gonna use two and a half ounces of our coconut rum. I've got a cup and three quarters of crushed ice in the shaker, so we're gonna pick this up and get to shaking.
This drink was originally served in a real coconut with the top taken off, but I'm using a 10 and a half ounce rocks glass here. It's kind of a round shape, so it's a little bit coconutty. It gives me that feel without having to actually kill a coconut. And we're gonna pour it unstrained right into the glass. And here we are, the Leilani Volcano. Now, I don't know what causes it, but I just love this kind of froth that appears at the top. I think it's a really neat feature of the drink, and it's one of the reasons I actually like serving this in a clear glass instead of a tiki mug. I hope you enjoy making the Leilani Volcano in your own home. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out when new episodes come out. Until next time, Akole Maluna and Kungaloosh! The incredible Exotica music you heard on today's episode is by our friends Stolen Idols. Their album, Moonlight Offerings, is available on Amazon, Apple Music, and Spotify.